Oh my god! It's Crump Diddy and Omega! The Wasabi Bros! They talk so much shit! Welcome to the Wasabi Bros Podcast. It's your boys, Crump Diddy and Omega. Omega, what's up, man? What's up, dog? I'm, I'm sipping some some nice, uh, what do you call it? Like a like a breakfast roast or whatever out of my uh, Ocarina of Time mug. Actually, you can uh, check it out right here. Look, see the shit. That actually looks badass, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm not going to lie. Nah, this is my very, very special mug. I got it in the... Uh, I think it was Geekbox, which, by the way, we got to get those guys to sponsor us. We got to do it. Oh, gotta... Geekbox? Yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah, of them, yeah. dude. Yeah, they, they always send out, like, fucking trippy-ass, awesome shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've I been looking, like, at recent, like, box subscriptions that we could probably snag as a sponsor. And it's actually a pretty competitive market, man, because I thought there was, like, maybe three or four. And... No, there's a lot, dude, a lot. And the only upside to that is if you go and hunt down the smaller ones, yeah, you may have a chance because the smaller ones are trying to survive in such a saturated market of boxes that I'm sure they'll take anybody um, that has somewhat of a following or any sort of traffic, and they won't pay you per se. They'll probably maybe do like a commission-based thing or like or what they do is like they'll give you like uh, products to try out in exchange for, you know, hyping them up and promoting them. Right. And it's like, yeah, so it's like, okay, we don't have to pay for the product. They're sending it to free, but in, in exchange, we got to, you know, talk about it if we want them to keep sending stuff, especially when they have like new um, flavors. That's what the Bird Brain did. When I had the Bird Brain sponsorship, which by the way, they, they went out of business, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I was so sad, man, because they were they were really promising, man. They were like the first nootropic eight ounce can energy drink that I thought was pretty badass. Um, and the deal that I had with them was I would get a fifteen percent commission, and uh, if they if anybody used that promo code like Crunk Diddy, or and then what they'll do is in exchange for I guess because they thought fifteen percent commission was low. To keep me like doing it, they would just every month send me a case, and uh, they actually I have on my Instagram. They actually sent me prototype flavors. The shit was so prototype it didn't even have the labels yet. Oh shit! Yeah, so, so like, that was their release, or did they ever get to release them, or did they go out of business before they release? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they went out of business before they released these four flavors. Oh, shit. Because one day I showed up to my apartment and I'm like, "The fuck is this?" It was a big box, and it was like four 12 packs of unlike labeled cans and they had like the paperwork from the factory that that cans it yeah. explaining what's in the the box hmm. and who and it was supposed to go there but then it got redirected to me and i reached out to them like and like yeah yeah we wanted you to try these prototypes and let us know which one you think is going to be a banger and i was like oh like, shit Thanks for the communication like yeah, they didn't tell me I had, uh, that that one was coming dude so i had like no lie probably like maybe a 60 something cans City on my doorstep. Oh shit! Um, but they were generous, man. They were nice. I had one of um, wild chips. You know the chicken chips. Mm hmm. Or another one, dude. They wait. Did I they go out of business? Please tell me they didn't. No, no, no. They're still no. Fuck no. Yeah, right. No, they're they're only getting bigger. The reason why that one stopped was primarily because of the fact that they changed completely how they're doing. Um, sponsors uh like the whole sponsorship thing mm -hmm. and um now that they're going commercial now that they're in like a lot of stores now yeah they they basically blew up and now it's like very difficult to get a sponsorship with them well, so I mean, everybody i, I yeah. feel like that happens a lot with companies that offer like the smaller people sponsorships you know they'll start with the smaller people and then they blow up and they're like well we don't need you anymore i, yeah. I mean does that make sense you know, they, yeah, that's the same. I mean, and I mm -hmm. get it. They're being successful, and now they're just doing sponsorships with bigger people. So that makes sense. Yeah, now it's not even like an influencer anymore. Now it's like actual like celebrities. Yeah, like when, when I, you get yeah. When I had first launched the Omega Gaming Television, which was what I was doing before the Wasabi Bros, um, I was just doing like I had this dream to game stream, 
and uh, and I started reaching out like to uh, you know to get like sponsorships and shit like that. And one of them that I reached out to, I mean, dude, I, I was just going, you know, like I was aiming high. I always do yeah. that. Instead of aiming yeah, low, you... I aim high, and then I work my way down. Like, all right, cool. These guys aren't gonna give me. So I reached out to a uh, Displate. You remember? You remember those guys? Displate. Yeah, Displate right? is like uh, I. I mean, I have one right here, but it's basically it's just like a a poster, but it's made out of, out of like a metal plate. It's like a metal poster. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those before. Yeah, they're really badass. Their quality is amazing. I mean, they have uh, that. I think they're the first ones to rock that kind of thing. And back when I had started uh, the OG TV, they weren't as big. They were still like they were just taking off because. They hadn't made like official commercials and like, um, you know, I guess like some of these uh, commercials that come up as uh, like sponsored on Facebook or whatever, things like that. YouTube videos, they weren't like that big yet, but now yeah. they're literally everywhere, dude, everywhere. But yeah, they turned me down. So imagine me. Uh, like, I wouldn't even I wouldn't dare reach out again now. Like, you know, maybe maybe later, maybe when, when we've really uh, blown up, be like, OK, now what's up? Now what's up? Now we got the bucks. Now we're the big boys. Let's go. Yeah, no, yeah, you gotta aim high. That's actually uh, Harley Morenstein, the the guy who created Epic Meal Time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, me and him have been like online friends for a while. I actually, um, he, damn, this guy. If it wasn't for him, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have not even like found my passions anything. And he was such a cool guy, man. And like, I met him by accident before I even knew who the fuck he was. And then like, I was all fucking tripping out when I, holy shit. Yeah. This was back like in 2010. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, dude, the guy, like he, he gives off the best advice, man. Like, first of all, like he's always been nice. Every time he's had a new business venture, I mean, this guy literally, when he was doing the, his beef jerky business, mm -hmm. uh, where it was like, uh, it was like pizza flavored jerky. I have a picture of this on my Instagram as well. This guy hooked it up. He's like, I'm going to send you a bunch of shit. Oh, whatever. Nice. And yeah, he's always been awesome. He's always been supportive. Uh, the guy still like responds to me, no matter how like bigger he's gone. Like he's cool. He doesn't forget about the people that were there from the beginning. Yeah. And what are the advice he that he would always give? And when I started applying it, I realized, oh shit, like it does have a higher chance of working. Is you know, turn down all ambassador. Like uh, there's a big scam that goes around a lot of times with uh, these companies. And they're like ambassador programs. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're a scam. Their whole the whole concept of it is a scam. Wow. And and what happens is they prey on like not small people. Mm, yeah. And really, what they're doing is it's free labor. So they're what they're doing is they're essentially like, oh, set up your profile with us. You'll get your ambassador code for people if they click on your referral link. They'll get the discount. Right, but in order for you to even get that, you have to constantly buy merch from them every month. So essentially, it's just a pyramid scheme. Yeah, isn't GameStop doing something like that right now? I'm not even kidding. Like for streamers and stuff like that. I don't know if you've heard of that. They're oh. doing it. Yeah, it's an ambassador program. Mm -hmm. And like, um, there's a like a friend, uh, maybe you're like acquaintance uh, streamer that I've known now for a couple years. Like uh, I saw him make a post. Like, yo, we're in the ambassador program. And uh, I'm not trying to be a, De a Debbie Downer, but then I was like, what does it actually mean? But yeah, I think it's yeah. uh, I think it's like one of those just like, you know, use my code. Uh, you know, if you use my code, then I get, you know, then I get something out of it. If big if. Yeah. And I think what people what I, what a lot of like what everyday people that are starting off is like, you know, l have the courage to tell these people fuck off. You know, like I, I was like rude as fuck to like wild chips. Mm -hmm. I was rude as, I was rude as fuck. Um, really? You and, mean the guys that yeah. actually gave you the sponsorship? Yeah. I told them at the beginning, like, and I have everything I, and I don't care. They can't come after me if I release a, a private chat. Like that's not a big deal, right? At least I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have the chat to prove it at the very beginning. I was like, yo, what's up? Um, I'm looking, I'm looking for a new sponsor for the podcast. And they're like, oh, okay. Um, like give us a day or two to look at your stuff. And I was like, I don't got a day or two. 
I need to know now because I got two other people that are waiting for on my response. So I need to know what's up, whatever. The guy's like, okay, well, well give us a couple minutes. We're looking now. Then again, the guy's like, oh, uh, we'll give you a 10% off thing. I was like, no, I don't. Mm -mm. No, I want the same deal that Bird Brain's doing. They're like, oh, Bird Brain. I'm like, yeah, I want products sent to me. I want samples. I want full bags. I want everything. I need, I need to try this shit out because if I'm going to stand behind the product, I need to know if it's shit or not or whatever. Yeah. And so I want, yeah, dude, I was like, I want 10% and I want every month the same thing. I want you guys constantly, I want to be mad that I'm going to my front door and you guys have my shit blocked with you know, boxes. Now, now that we're doing video podcasting and I'm looking at you, like I'm, I'm, before we were just, when we do our, you know, podcasts, we, we just hear each other, but now we're actually looking at each other. I can kind of see, you know how you, you know how you, you know, always complain about receding hairline, but I could see, I could see it forming again, bro. I can see you getting a, but it's, it's looking like a Karen, uh, Karen bowl, yeah. like, like a Karen cut. Uh, yeah, dude, I haven't, I'm supposed to, I got to definitely get, um, a, a haircut before my trip on Friday. Uh, I'm just going to do a two all around. Like I'm done, you know, trying to like figure out a hairstyle, like the high and tight work for a little bit, dude. But it's it's nah, time. I'm I'm about to start just shaving it off. But I was referring to the whole like, you know how you said that you were a jerk to them and, and giving examples and stuff. That, yeah, that I was oh, seeing yeah. the, I was I was seeing the yeah. Karen. Yeah, I was seeing the Karen haircut grow on you. Yeah, I mean, dude, look. To be fair, I was just pissed because I'm like, dude, I'm so, and I'm sure this has happened to you too. But there was a time where like literally like a couple times a day I was getting spam messages of like ambassador program, ambassador program. And I was getting sick of it. And so I was like, no, I'm going to go reach out and get my own thing. Fuck that. And they do. They did it. They said, OK, well, we'll do we'll give you the 10 percent and we'll send you products every month. They'll have like a reoccurring shipment. Well, this is good. Oh, advice. Whatever. This is good advice for people. Hey, if you're tuning in and you want to learn some stuff about sponsorships for streaming or for whatever the fuck Crump Diddy has, uh, he has some experience with that. So. Very, yeah, very little, Check but this effective. Guy out. Check this guy out. Yeah, no, very little, but effective, dude. It worked. I, I, I was able to get two companies, mind you, and my podcast, my Crumb Diddy podcast, even though I, I think it did pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, like it obviously compared to thousands and thousands of podcasts that are like actually relevant. Like for a small up and comer to get two companies. To do that, I think if I can do it, anybody can do it. Like, you know how, what I'm how saying? How long so, were you? Um, and I know you have a background with podcasting when you used to only do podcasting live and you actually had people like on chat, which that's years of experience. With uh, like how much years of experience, like including that kind of stuff, like would you say that you have? Like how many years is this, do you think? Um, I would say about eight years of, uh, of as a, like a hobby that I couldn't drop eight years, but Damn. on and off. Yeah. On and off. Um, I would say, dude, probably since high school, man, because where the whole idea of the podcasting came into place, because when we used to do backyard wrestling a long time ago, um, we couldn't get anybody to commentate because we were so broke and we we're like teenagers with no money. Yeah. <clears throat> so we had a thing where like we couldn't have anybody like commentate because they were the fucking sun was beating down on them. Nobody likes sitting down on those metal chairs and mm -hmm. and and you know everyone wanted to sit in the shade if, while watching the rest of the matches. And so I would commentate, and I like I just I just like love commentating, talking like shit. Mm -hmm. Why? While the match was going off, and so originally that's why I started getting you, my. Bro. It's always been <clears> you. You're right. This is something now that we're talking about it. It's just something that's always been a part of you, bro. You're not. You're not wrong. Shit. Not looking back, I'm like, damn, it was his destiny. And then, uh, and then I always had my family telling me like, yo, you, you, you have that radio voice. You know, they've always told me you have that radio voice. You should get into some kind of radio. You know, the fucking news or something. But you know, I wouldn't do the news. Fuck that shit. Fuck the news. Yeah. Fuck the media. Nah. Fuck the so Fuck the media. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no. Um, unfortunately, I I may have some family in the you know in the uh, news business. So I res I respect you for your hustle, but fuck the news. <laughs> Yeah, I respect you, but fuck you. But, but yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No, dude, like, and that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, if you have a voice for it, you know, 
it's free. It already, it's already within you. You don't got to pay money for it. You know, just do it, you know? And I think the, the biggest thing that holds people back is like, well, I think we talked about this yesterday was people are just so intimidated, man. And I, I, and listen, I can't blame them because we live in a very fucked up, toxic, you know, environment on the internet. You know, people Dude, go out so of their way. To make Yeah. Yeah. The internet has destroyed like a lot of humanity. I feel like, like a lot of our social like we're we're just like in a weird social place, it, uh, like in at this in this point of time. Sorry, little no, no. ADHD <clears throat> interruption. No, 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 dude, you're spot on. It's true. We're we're the internet. The problem with the people on the internet is, ever since the internet came out and people were able to get social with it, like starting back with the chat rooms or whatever and blogs and whatnot, people have. The trolls who are unhappy, like they're not happy with their life. This is their way, in a sick, twisted way, to take out their unhappiness and misery out on people. There's people that I, I've met trolls that say that they genuinely like the content they're watching, but they cannot stand the fact that how much positive attention it's getting. So they feel like they have to be the one person to say the opposite to tear that person down just so that way people can look at this person instead of that person, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I had it's one a of form, those guys yeah. in the, in when I was, you don't remember him? Like I had, I had issues with, um, you know, the people that I had teamed up with for, um, Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what's the name of, I forgot what we, what we, what we used to call ourselves, but anyway, uh, um, yeah, I could the, say it if you want, I could say it if you want the name, nah, nah, let's keep the name out of it. The name uh, of, I, okay. I, basically I, I did a partnership with nah. some other streamers and I know they're probably going to hear this podcast. This isn't, you know, it's, it's nothing bad. I'm not, or this podcast episode, it's nothing bad. I'm just mentioning it for the record, but, or as an example, that one, there's a man, there's just one dude. He was so, dude, he was so toxic, bro. And I kept saying, I kept saying, we got to eliminate this guy. We got to eliminate this guy. No, but he's, you know, he's sending money and stuff, you know. He's donating money. And I'm like, I don't care if he's, I don't care if he's donating money. This guy is literally, like, toxic and is always, like, you can tell he's being sarcastic and just, like, mocking people and shit. Like, I feel like he's uh, fucking, uh, uh, fucking Strahd. The fucking vampire from uh, from D and D. I'm currently in a campaign, and fucking Strahd is just uh, he's sick. He's fucking twisted, and he likes to like play games with people. Motherfucker was Strahd. For a second there, I was like, I was like, hmm, this sounds like me. But then I was like, wait, then he's done any money? I'm like, oh no, I'm like, fuck, damn it, I thought it was me. <laughs> Duh. No, so, but no, he like he really. Guy. No, but there's like trolls that you can I don't know you come in there and you make like you're like the like excuse me but you're like the fun asshole and people know yeah. it people don't go Crump Diddy is a bad guy you know yeah well I think I think this guy was just like very obvious you know it's like but yeah talking about the yeah. talking about like you know where we've come to as far as dealing with trolls and all that kind of shit yeah, no, and and that, dude, it's gonna, ex it's never gonna go go away. Like, look at all the big popular people that started from nothing, and obviously, over the years, they've turned into giants. And even no matter how successful they are, as a matter of fact, I think it's worse when you get successful, because now you just have you're outnumbered. Now, no matter where you go, your life is under a microscope, and you you can never no you can never have a successful YouTube channel, podcast, anything. Um, I can't wait that, to see the comments that show up under this. It's, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who can relate. Yeah. No. But oh, I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm yeah, saying, with like, that the trolls, story. The trolls are going to, where you at, trolls? Comment, comment down below. Just blow up our, our fucking algorithms and make us famous. It's fine. Yeah, they're going to probably say, yo, why is Crump Diddy's fucking forehead shiny and greasy? No, take a shower, you fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. That, oh. The, uh, listen, guys. Maybe. You, you, but listen, ignore guys, them, bro. I, hey, you know you got your hygiene. You, you know, oh, you, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I've been moving the last two days, um, and I've been showering. I just cooked a steak, so of course my face is so, like, oh, so whatever. So fuck you, trolls. Fuck you, yeah. trolls. Go, and also, go fucketh yourself, trolls. Go, go fucketh thyself. And go take a shower. And go take a shower. And go take a shower. Listen, 
the best advice I can give to people about trolls is ignore them. You know why? Because that's how you cut off their life supply. And they'll try to personally dox you. Or, and try or to block like, them. That's my point. Yeah, you can block them. Then, then you definitely cut them off. And you, then know the, you, know that, you know that one popular dude right now that he always goes like this? Look, you, you're, watching, yeah. you're watching me? And he goes yeah, like yeah. this? That, yeah. To me, it's him pointing at the block button. Right. Yeah. You just block them, man. That's it. You know? And... You know, the thing is, if you ignore them and then eventually block them, they realize, okay, they'll just move on to somebody else, which is a sad reality, right? Because they're just going to go and torment somebody else, you know, and they need a Zelda cup. Uh, you know, that's yeah, what they, they need. They need they, they, they have they a Zelda coffee cup. <laughs> mug, mug. No, it's a cup Zelda, too. I, I, it's, I'm just, I'm being a dick. Well, I'm, I'm half Cuban, so I, I can get a coffee mug and put ice cubes in it and pour a uh, Czech cola in there and uh, and call it a day. And get fucking bubbling diarrhea in your sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. Get the Pepto. I, I cheat my baby. <laughs> I cheat my pie. I cheat the, the underwear. <laughs> I cheat my pie. The best advice I can give to people for dealing with that as well is uh, learn to be humble and make fun of yourself. Because if there's one thing trolls... Be, get bored of is like oh this guy's fucking cutting deep on his own southerns what the fuck am i gonna i can't compete with this guy he's in, he's insults himself better check it dog you know? i got crooked teeth and i fucking know it i've never had enough money to get them fucking fixed i've i come from a poor background of people struggling and trying i have crooked teeth you guys can see it in the, in the fucking so i'm making fun of myself right now if y'all want to point it out i don't give a fuck i'm gonna i'm just gonna be like yep crooked teeth and one day yep. they'll be they'll be straight in the future but in the meantime, I'm going to make fun of him, too. It looks like I fucking stopped the train with my face. <laughs> <laughs> or like, yeah. I, like I, I chewed on a stereo for breakfast. Well, listen, I got two baby mamas. Um, I many failed relationships. I've, I've been arrested before. Um, oh, I got titties. I, like, I'm debating on whether I should just start wearing a bra. Oh, dude, me too, man. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they look at them, dude. Uh, dude they bounce, bro. I, they bounce, dude. I got, I got the jigglies, dude. They got the jiggly pops. All right, so what else we have? Receding hairline, right here. You see, oh, I yeah. try to hide it with a comb over because at least there's some other, there's some other parts of my hair uh, that are longer, and I can just, you know. But right here, ooh, and it runs deep in the family too, bro. It runs deep in the family. You know, ben, yeah, I think if you got a buzz cut, I, I, I used to, dude. I used yeah. to. You don't fucking remember me bald? I have uh, one yeah, picture I, that I have to find, bro. It's it's me, uh, like in black and white, but like taking a bite into a red apple. Like they're all the only thing that's colored is like the red apple in the picture, and then I have like fucking like red eyes. Like I was, uh, I I don't know. I was bored and I did like a like a Death Note type of thing, right? Oh, I thought you were trying to do huge, some like. I'm a huge fan. This was years ago already. I, you know, I'm fucking 35 and I'm still doing dorky nerdy shit. Forgive me. Well, if I lost 40 pounds and grew my hair out, uh, I could look like the guy from Death Note. Now, that creepy guy, that ghoul, whatever, that ghost, demon, whatever the fuck he is. Uh, yeah, uh, he's, a he's a demon. He's a demon. He's got that fucking receding hairline and the uh, big Ryuk, fucking uh, head. Ryuk, Ryuk. Yeah, that yeah, motherfucker's he's... creepy, but then, like, after you watch the anime for some time, he, he, he turns into, like, you get this friendship feeling toward him. Not that yeah. you care that they're fucking evil uh people are you know or an evil like you know i don't know uh or maybe I want, he's just I, death maybe he's just death I, I don't fucking know i want him on that anime dude i love that one dude i'm not gonna lie that's no yeah dude oh, i dude, want him that's, that's amazing it's an amazing anime bro that's a, see that's the thing that's incredible writing right there dude <laughs> i think that you know what's funny? I don't, I don't know i haven't seen the live action one from netflix but mm -hmm. i i and, and i know a lot of people hate it a lot of people were don't furious. Do don't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, it. I saw. Yeah, I think it was one of the first times that Netflix had an anime related show with that the lowest rating. Um, and the, the casting choices. All right, and and I'm not just talking about that they chose a black guy to play. Um, what is it? L. I think it's L. Yeah. Right? The. Um. But it was it was just I think the entire casting choice, like the uh, like the whole casting decision, like for everybody, the story, like I hate how Hollywood just has to fuck everything up 
westernize it and just completely sandpaper dick it, no lube, very dry. That's but you know what's funny is people are mad at the wrong people as a I, result of I that. I just got worked up. I'm just letting you know. No, no. Based on the shit I read when that thing came out, like from the comments or whatever, like you're not the only one who got worked up. I heard, I saw some people writing some stuff. And I'm like, yo, if the cops read what you just wrote, they're they're gonna show up at your door. Like you need to relax. Like I was reading some harmful, hateful shit. But people are mad at the wrong people. You know who you get mad at? You get mad at the studio, the people who developed that story, who own, who originally owned and created it for selling off the rights. Because they they took a big paycheck, which I don't blame them. I probably would have done the same if if Netflix was throwing that hundreds of millions or whatever they threw at them. But they sold it knowing damn well that anytime we grab something and we do it, we destroy it. I feel Look like at Dragon I, Ball. If I was really proud of my work, of a piece of work, I wouldn't just. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, let me see what plans you got, because it's still my right. legacy. That's that's the that's the fucking um, fine print right there that you have to sign on. Like, you have to let me see what you're doing. The finalized, like, the final draft, what you guys are going to put out. Let me see it. Right. You know, that way if you look at it and it's shitty, you could be like, um, you know what? I don't need your money. I, I love my art. And um, I just choose to not, you know, fucking. Yeah. All right. Double double barrel double barrel shotguns or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and that dude, like I saw this, like I'll never forget, dude. I saw this again because I was like, all right. You know, the first time I saw this, I was in high school. I was a little immature. Let me give it a second chance. You know, sometimes you watch something again as an adult, mm -hmm. you know, to, to give it okay, I'm mature now. Maybe I'll understand it better. Yes. And there's a lot of yeah. things that, that, that happen still to this day in that aspect. Well, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one. No, it's true. There's a lot of things that happen in that aspect, but this was not one of them. And this was that Dragon Ball movie. I saw that movie and I was like, I'm not even a Dragon Ball Z fan. And I'm upset like the Dragon Ball Z fans. <laughs> I, I was there with them. I'm like, man, I spent four years making fun of you in high school. But bitch, I'm right here with you. Fucking picking signs. Yeah, fuck yeah, these yeah. people. Fuck this, fuck, fuck I was this movie. Yeah. Yeah, I was with them, dude. Well, because they tried to... What that was is that they tried to make... I don't know, dude. They purposely, purposely wanted to go like an, an Americanized version of it. They did not want to keep the, you know, uh, you know, true to the uh tv show and the movies and the whole you know thing like they just wanted to do their own adaptation and dragon ball and dragon ball z fans do not want an adaptation do not yeah that's the thing i feel like when it comes to a lot of anime and i know there's some that can that people would want this to happen to but i know for the most part i feel like most anime fans for like there are certain franchises that they love if they're gonna if they're gonna if they're gonna like ask for a movie just do a fully animated movie. Like, just do it like that. Like, kind of like what they did. What's that show? Um, then they turned it into a movie when they reintroduced it. Um, the guy with the big ass fucking blade. Um, oh my god, man. What is it? What is uh, it? He he has black hair. In he what, has a in what um it's an anime that uh he has a big ass claymore. Ber uh, Berserk? Berserk, yeah, there you go. See yeah. what they did was fantastic what they did see they had the original ma manga that they turned into an anime in the early 90s mm -hmm. then when they reintroduced it the remake of it they first did to catch everybody up they did a, a two-hour movie or something right and it wasn't it was a full animated movie and that's fine that that got new fans introduced to it as well as old fans revisiting a high def version and Dude, more it's you a, know it's a fucking amazing heartbreaking anime bro it like really fucks with your emotions especially the the ending before you transition into the tv show uh right. you know after the whole i don't want to spoil it i don't know who the fuck you know has or hasn't watched it but after the whole aftermath and that now he's you know alone and shit 
That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Oh yeah, Fucking yeah. Dude. Amazing, bro. I like how we were supposed to talk about some shit tonight and we didn't even talk about it. I feel like that's the next episode. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you this right now. Actually, <laughs> it, this will be the, the the most funniest segue. But actually, just the, it's a quick story. Okay. But uh, fuck it. It's a quick. It's a no, quick no, no, story. No. Let's, let's let's do this shit, bro. <laughs> Well, there's a guy in Japan. Uh, this is a, a, a famous story that they keep they bring up every now and then. You ever seen those stories that are so legendary that even years later they turn like memes into it or whatever? Right. Well, apparently this is one of these type of stories where there was a man that was arrested for stealing 200 bicycle seats. Okay. Now it wasn't just choice, but right. Interesting stories, but when you see what type of bicycle seats you kind of will probably understand why, or at least you'll get the hint. They're made he of would gold. Only... They're made of gold. I, w- I wish. That guy would have never been caught if he would have just sold it and left the country. But he only steals women bicycle seats. And the reason why is because he want, he loves the smell and the taste of them. Okay? Now, Japan gets hot. All right? So, picture... Women are sitting on a bicycle seat for you know a certain amount of time, getting to work, coming home, doing errands in the hot sun. You know, bicycle is still a pretty popular choice of of uh, commuting. You know, uh, because everything's so accessible with bike in that country. And so this guy had a fetish. He loves the smell of of a nice roasted female bicycle seat <laughs> with that preparation or perspiration or whatever and I, scent and taste no if you have to dissect this if you have to dissect this it's more than a <laughs> fetish i need you to understand oh yeah, i he believe needs that this yeah he needs help but i believe that this man has become such an addict of pussy yeah that he's taken it to extremes he's he can't yeah. I, I have sometimes slipped into the nothingness of pussy addiction I have yeah. become I have I have gone just real close to the edge of losing myself to Is it just, busy? you'd never see me sitting here oh. <laughs> and just sniffing. You'd never see Sniff me it. Yeah, you'd, you'd never see me just sitting here with you doing a fucking podcast episode. <laughs> Dude, because, it's addicting. Uh, it's addicting. It's addicting. But this guy All it takes is a little Oh man, yeah. And let me tell you, pussy will, pussy has a way of getting people to do dumb shit. But this right here is fucking crazy. And uh, the guy's name is Joji Kondo, which the fact that he, he has the same last name as Koji Kondo is uh, kind of weird. Okay. But um, yeah, this guy, this apparently this happened in the the Kanagawa Prefecture, and the police caught the dude because he late at night he tried to sneak in in the middle of the night and take some more. Uh, bicycle seats and he got caught and when they searched his house they found a bunch of them dude pre-licked already <laughs> pre-licked pre-sniffed his dna all over the, this shit because he's probably also he's you got to think about it this guy has probably did they consider that he rubbed his dick on these uh you know bicycle seats well the article is short it doesn't say it but i'm sure there's there a may chance be information. that information have found yeah, yeah. yeah and they probably don't want to release that because they're kind of conservative how, how they talk about their news. This is all translated mm. to English. Yeah. Um, I, I can't imagine Japanese people saying he rubbed his wet schlong all over the women's bicycle seat. His semen is strong on these seats. Yeah, they, they probably would have kept that out. I did. I feel like mad props because he was apparently interviewed by like news reporters, uh, you know, while he was in cuffs. Yeah, and mad props to the news reporters who actually were able to keep a straight face while this guy's confessing it. And yeah, dude, he's and the bicycle seats, man, they're worth like according to this, but they're like eighteen thousand yen a pop. So about what is that like eighteen bucks a pop? And he estimated he stole. There was some that were worth expensive. They were one million two hundred thousand yen. So he stole some pretty fucking expensive shit. Shit. And um. Yeah, and he, dude, he stole a bunch. And the thing is, he didn't resell them. He didn't do. He kept them like, uh, like hoarding it or whatever. And I mean, dude, this guy should have just been watching some fucking anime, dude, or hentai. It's just something, man. Anything but stealing from people and sniffing, licking, 
hot, sweaty booty seats. <laughs> it's if, fucking ugh. If you just get yourself a good woman, that's all you need, man. You you love pussy that much? Regulate your, um, what do you call this thing again? Fetish, right? Regulate your fetish. Keep that shit under control. Get yourself a, a, a woman that has a nice smelling pussy. And just just have that with you every day. That's it. Just be loyal, motherfucker. Don't be smelling all kinds of pussy. Smell her pussy. Do her a, yeah. a, a service. Go down on her. And, uh, you know, this has turned into like the fucking uh, uh, the, some 50 Shades of Omega. I'm sorry. 50 Shades of Omega. You, you get the, you get the, you get the, what is it? The... I, I get the diamond. Yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slide the flaps back, and the little alien thing that's looking at you—that's your target. Oh, thank you. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, I you. Mean, basically, it's the, it's the, the launch pad. You know, you hit that that thing, and trust me, some go and det- detonate. Some yeah, go off th- eventually. Yeah, something's yeah, something's gonna go off, and then they're not gonna stop texting you. Um, oh, yeah. Hey, we're gonna get a lot of uh, we're gonna get a lot of messages uh, from from this podcast. Um, we're gonna get some. Uh, listen, calm down, <laughs> calm down. All right, we're professionals here, and we're just trying to we're just trying to run a decent, just morally good podcast. So, oh, you know what? You. I'm. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you this right now, dude. The uh, personal confession: I for many years. I was terrible at it. I for many years, I did not know what the fuck I was doing, and it's because of this one chick in uh, an aerobics class. Um, I was telling her, I was like venting to her because I, I signed up for aerobics, and I was like the only guy there. <laughs> so, and um, I learned the I learned the dark truth. Stop. <laughs> Stop. 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 I love that every time that you tell me one of these fucking stories, it's just so you. This is just something that you would do. You're just that one fucking male. You're disgusting. Yes, You're disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. You're so good. You're... Go take a shower. Go take another. You should, to, to in, in order to atone for your sins, your showers need to be upped. To five showers a day, <laughs> five showers a day. My, my shower needs to be baptized just so there's holy water coming out, dude. Exactly. No, well, and I remember it, like they in tenth grade at the end of the year when you know how they give you election sheets to what you want to take for the next year. I saw aerobics, dude. I'm like, dude, I have an idea, dude. <laughs> I did it, and they actually gave me the class. And I remember for like a week, everybody was like looking at me awkward because I was like the only guy there. Awkward, but, yeah. They were like, "Bro, you were the only sausage." Like, yeah, they're... on the breakfast table, and well, everybody it, yeah. showed up hungry. For you know what? For about thirty percent of the class, it their was Venus, like that. their Venus fly traps were snapping towards like, you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the predator, you know, when the predator takes off his helmet. Yeah, but, <laughs> but sideways. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, and shit, dude, dude. I, learned, I, I learned some very harsh, dark realities about women in that class because I was getting the insight, dude. Because I would vent to them, man. I'm like, hey, man, you know, uh, they keep saying I, I, I don't know how to eat pussy. Like, what do I do? You know? <laughs> and they were like, you got, you got to pull the flaps back, you know? And there's a little, you know, a little ball there. And that's where you got to do the dribbling with your tongue. And I'm like, <gasps> really? I thought that, you just that's a, they flaps. said dribbling? Did yeah, they actually dribble. say dribbling? Dribble. You got to dribble. Dribble is something you do with a fucking ball. If you're like you're a basketball player, you play basketball. Yeah, but it's the motion of. Oh, dribble? Up and, up and down, up and down, up oh, and down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, or side to side dribble, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. No, you got to. It, it's it's the, you you can feel it. It's a it's a magical thing. Yeah. You just and, know. The real yeah, men anyways. The, the other guys. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. They, yeah, they if, you, just... if you're gonna look, if you're looking the roast beef, you're doing it wrong. You gotta pull the roast beef to the side, open it's, the curtains. All right, it's. Have you ever? Maybe if uh, I'm gonna teach you guys something. Maybe if if we got some dads on here, you'll understand. Uh, you know, moms too. Whatever. All right, listen to me. You ever have like the baby food, and this baby food is fucking delicious from these little from these little uh, jars. You know, that you feed the baby, 
and then you want some of the shit on. Have you never eh, eh, put your fucking tongue in there and try to get those things? That's good practice. So you motherfuckers yeah. that don't have, don't know how to eat pussy, go try that. Lick all of the uh, of the baby food from the bottom of the of the of the baby food jar. All right, and <laughs> and you can't stop until it's completely clean. Like you just took it out of the of the dishwasher, freshly freshly washed. <laughs> It's all got to be gone. <laughs> yes. every, every particle, dude. Yes, every every particle. When you do that, you then you're ready to try it on a on a real woman. Or go yeah. back to trying it, you motherfuckers. And and there's actually a trick. See, one, another thing I learned too from these women is that you can have an average size uh, you know, ding dong. Yeah. And and you could still hurt them like in a good in a good way, a good hurt. And what it is, it's it's all geometry. This is how they okay. explain it to me. Okay. If you if you get them at the right angle, okay, then it can it can it can break the barrier and go go a little further. Right, and yeah. you and also if you get them on a right angle, where the side of your ding dong is pressing against the side of their walls, you know they like that. They like when they can feel it all over. You know what? You know what this is called? What? Diconomics. <laughs> Diconomics. <laughs> Diconomics, man. The next shirt. Diconomics. Diconomics. Yeah. It's gonna and say it's... it's gonna say Diconomics mm. right in the middle in like superhero uh, letters, and then just like uh probably like a pickle, uh but like oh. a very you know the ones that look like veiny but they're actually just like bumpy green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do and that and, with, and with glasses. Dick. We're glad I'll put some <laughs> glasses. glasses like that, like that Veggie Tail cucumber with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> we just took a a, a Christian kids oh. storytelling thing no we need to we need to beg for forgiveness tonight we yeah, have yeah, to, for, for we need to tell you that. yeah no <laughs> seriously god forgive us all right continue uh, no i just i've learned in that class man anytime i was sucking at something because here's the thing man you guys got to be humble man when you're not good at something you know most of the time if you're with a girl and it's a relationship and you guys confide with each other on things you know, if the girl loves you, the girl's going to tell you straight up, hey, listen, man, you fucking suck. I need you to do it this way. You know, they'll tell you how they want it. Yeah. You know, but I get it. Sometimes when you're in the dating scene and things turn into hookups unexpectedly and now you're going up against somebody you've never encountered in your bedroom before. Now you're bringing it's all up to you. Raw talent. You know, these are tips. Yeah. yeah. And you got to listen to this podcast and catch up on your dickonomics. And your and your lickonomics. And your lickonomics, yes. Dick Dickonomics, lickonomics. We're gonna make know. a book. It's just titled Dickonomics and Lickonomics. And it's yeah. just for men. Yeah, the women version is suckonomics. Men don't like to read books, but watch a motherfucker read a book about learning how to eat pussy. Yeah. Oh, she ain't go gonna, she, that's why I, it, this guy, this guy that uh that was licking uh Female no. bike seats. Bicycle, yeah, bicycle seats. He don't yeah. know how. He don't know. How he the conclusion is he doesn't know how to eat pussy. That's why he ain't yeah. got no women. They go away. They're like, what, you know, are you eating lobster? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, if he would have just got one woman, you know, to date and have a relationship with, and did that with her, he would have been hooked, and he would have been treating that girl like a fucking queen. He would have never let her go. And they would have just been pussy eating all day, just like Thanksgiving, lickonomics. Lickonomics, diconomics. It makes sense. That's two two different shirts. We can maybe come out with a female version and then uh, a, a male version. I mean, like, um, we're teaching lickonomics. That's the shirt. We're teaching the Wasabi Bros logo right here somewhere, right? And then yeah. we're teaching lickonomics. Lickonomics. <laughs> I was if I have one of these sushis. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lick, in the, lick the sushi. That's what the sushis are, aren't they? Yeah, we get the sushi, but with extra seaweed as hair. They make it look like a female. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting too fucking... No, uh, dude. <laughs> get the fucking designs out. Let's go, dude. Hey, we getting ideas yeah. out here, man. Yeah, we could do a sushi eating out another sushi, but with a, a salmon tongue. <laughs> and... Uh, oh, my goodness. A, I say it wrong. I say it's, is it is it it's salmon. I'm saying salmon. Listen, who gives a fuck anymore, dude? Nowadays, you could say however the fuck you want. If you want to be a lamp, you could be a lamp. Do you want to be a doormat? Do you want to be a shoe? You could do it. Yeah, nowadays, yeah, so you, you can, can just you can how do you want to say it? How do you, how were you saying it before? Salmon. 
No, you even said it different before the first time. You said like sit, su- sa- salmon, salmon, sal- salmon, Ma- salmon, 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 salmon. That's how you said it. Salmon, salmon. like Saul Goodman, salmon, right? Yeah. Salmon. Well, guess what? Yeah, salmon. That's not wrong either. Say it like that. Say it however the fuck you want. Yeah, I, I identify as somebody who's never wrong. There you go. That works in, on so many occasions. See, you've just squashed it completely. Yeah, that's it. I I identify as somebody who's never wrong. Never wrong. <laughs> Wait, wow. Did you just whisper? Because your mic, I think your mic. Went <laughs> I whispered. I did whisper. <laughs> that's, what I, that's the yeah. The mic didn't catch yeah. the. I went never wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was like uh, something that you that you wanted to censor yourself with. I really hope <laughs> my kids don't find this episode. Well, when they're at their appropriate age, then maybe they should find it. No, I know, but um, you don't know my kids. I feel like they would find it and they would listen to it. And then I have a lot of explaining to do. Holy oh, shit. shit. It's okay. Well, no, you know what? This is adult content. They shouldn't be looking for these things. I'm going to have a talk with, with, you know. Well, I feel bad because my kids were over today and they saw this poster. And oh. they're like, oh, they were all excited about it. Like, oh my God, like, it's awesome. Like, it's a real thing. I'm like, of course it's a real fucking thing. What do you think? I'm just talking <laughs> by myself in your room. Like, right, when right. I was doing this episode. And so now all they got to do is just look it up. <laughs> so, same thing. Uh, same thing. Yeah. You know, but dude, Baba, we have, oh, this was, this was a fucking, this was a nice, refreshing podcast. Uh, the story was quick. Yeah. And, but yeah, and we mainly got more like just casual vibing. Uh, like we wanted to do. Remember when we, yeah, I think it was you were talking about, we just said, let's just vibe, bro. This was fucking vibing as fuck, dude. This is probably, I'm going to say, one of our best. We just keep on getting better and better for you guys. We're just doing it. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's just fucking, you got to just, you got to just vibe sometimes and let it flow, dude. Let it flow. People are so, oh, it's got to be a certain way. No, just yeah, vibe, see, dude. I forgot to put that fucking ring. You see right there? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to put that away. Do you think I give a fuck? No. Nope. Look, everybody. Random, stupid fucking ring light right there. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, dude. And that's why if we ever became super big, I would invest in wigs and makeup so nobody knows who I am when I'm in public. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. That's all. You don't need to. It doesn't need to, to get that serious, man. You just got to vibe, man. No Lights. Lights on. Lights off, bro. So what's up, tell, what's up, man? Let's wrap this up. Let's tell everybody, man, where they can find us, man. There's some people that are blind and confused and they need help, dude. We want you guys to find us on social media under the Wasabi Bros. Just go ahead and type that out on uh, any social media platform and we should come up for you. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. And you're going to find us there. That's all. Also, there's going to be a link tree that's going to give you our merch store, and it's just going to tell you uh, all about us and where you can find us and where you can listen to the podcast. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, what's up? What's up? That's right. Buy buy a t-shirt so I can afford uh, a haircut. Oh, this, I mean, this isn't a what's up, but you know what I'm, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, or buy that t-shirt where just wherever he bought it, just buy that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Target probably. I don't know. Yeah, go to Target and buy a t-shirt then. Whatever. Do it. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't know. Yeah, or buy ours and be our friends, whatever. Yeah, be our friends. Until next time, guys. So wasabi bros, peace. Peace.